is Friday, October 25th, and it is my last day in Los Angeles, California. I wanted to make a video kind of encapsulating my time here in California for the past four years and going back to all of the very important places that meant something to me while I lived here. And in order to do that, going back to my roots, first friend I ever made Fuck in this bitch. Los Angeles. Fuck this bitch. He's feeling a little emotional. We already cried once today. Oliver's the first friend I ever made in California. You guys know this. I've One talked of. about it. We're not, I'm not gonna take all the credit. No, you were like first of three, probably. First, yeah. First five. Well, no, you were the first friend I ever made that like wasn't online. Like you're the first actual human being Thing interaction that like that wasn't I had. via like an Instagram, Instagram or a TikTok. DM. Yeah, it was like That's the first crazy. friend I ever actually made. Anyway, so we're gonna visit a lot of spots, lots of spots, and we're gonna talk about it. This is my love letter to LA. Also, this video is sponsored by Warby Parker. We are at the first house I ever lived in, in Los Angeles, California. This is the content house. And this is where me and Oliver- No. Like, I know this isn't where we no. met, but this is where we started hanging out. Like This was like the spot. Yeah, mm -hmm. our house got leaked at some point. People would show up. Remember when we came home one day and there was like a concert happening downstairs? Yes. That was funny. And we snuck upstairs. Who was the guy? I don't know who was singing, but it was, it was like rapper. a full blown concert It was a downstairs. concert in the living room. One night we were all, everybody, it was like a party night. Mm -hmm. For sure party night. And we were all drinking, whatever. And then the cops showed up. The cops showed up. <laughs> they were like, we just got reports that like someone was brutally stabbed. And like, we just wanted to come and make sure like this wasn't. Like nobody was being stabbed. That, like the, we don't know if this is the house, but like we got report like calls, blah, blah, blah. Drink in hand, just drinks in hand. And I'm like, <laughs> they, d and they saw all this, did not say a peep like did a sweeper on the house and we we're like all right well it looks like nobody was stabbed here so See ya. have a good one we were making poor choices bad. It, was it was bad, bad. but like they did they were just like all right continue on like have, like, like they did sorry not to disturb you. literally they were like sorry this was a party house if this was the part this was the party house. i got all of the partying that i ever needed to do in my entire out life of my out of my system in the couple months i lived here this is where i met emma yeah this, this is where is i met zoe at this house this fucking house dude from here we moved into the other house where all the girls lived. Me, Eva, Dev, Anna, Emma joined. It's so funny, cause like, we're so different now. Like here, we, I didn't have a car, I would Uber everywhere. I would appreciate where, like we did not appreciate like, are you kidding me? Being I was in these living. Places. I was yeah. living in this place rent free. When like I was a mansion. Years a old. mansion. It's so surreal. Like, Did not take that. I don't know what was happening. Who let me do that? Took that for granted. A hundred percent. It was also a really fucked up though. situation, like, for the sure. The whole situation was weird. Like, no 17, 18 year old no. girls should have been doing that. It was literally a sorority. It was. And I'm so grateful for it because it got me where I am. Before we get to the next spot, I want to thank the sponsor of this week's video, Warby Parker. You guys already know that I love Warby Parker. All of my glasses that I wear are from Warby, and I'm not wearing them right now because I'm doing their at-home try-on, which I've never done before, so I'm very excited. I brought it here with me to show you guys. This is what it looks like, and it's like 
this whole kit. Warby Parker designs every frame in-house and their collections include fits, silhouettes, and colors to suit every face. Warby Parker's virtual try-on makes shopping from the comfort of your own home an easy and personalized experience. If you prefer shopping in stores, Warby Parker has over 250 retail locations across the US and Canada. What do you think? I like those. You don't sound enthusiastic. I don't know if they're for you though. Okay. They're not your style. Well, it's a good thing I have four other okay. options. I like these more. Yeah, those are more you. I'm gonna pick one frame from the five that I am trying on. Ooh, I like these a lot. I have a pair that's a different color, but I wanted to try out a simple black pair, but I think I like the other ones more. I like these. I don't think I Can like the the shape of them. Mm -mm. I don't think I like it the suits color me. though. I agree. These are cool. They're different. I think the gold ones are the winners. I'm gonna order these. So now that I've chosen the frames that I like, I can order them online on Warby Parker. Now that I'm ready to send these back, I just repack them in the original packaging and I use the label that they provided me in the actual box. It's so easy. But if you don't wanna do that, you can always use the virtual try-on. Add a pair and save 15% when you purchase two or more prescription pairs of glasses or sunglasses. Thank you so much to Warby Parker for sponsoring this week's video and for sending me this home try-on kit. I'm so excited to order these frames and expand my collection. This is the last content house that we lived in before the girls went their separate ways and the house broke up. And The band broke up. Yeah, the band <laughs> broke up. Never got back together, guys. I don't really remember much happening in this house. It's kind Might of like either. a fever dream. Yeah. I think that we were all very stressed out. Um, there was a lot of movement at one mm -hmm. time. And like I feel like this was the shortest. That it was very short that. because we moved in. It was like literally in. like four months, yeah. three months. We moved in and then we all decided that we didn't want to be in the content house anymore. And we just wanted to do Exist. our own thing. Yeah. So we all moved out. But this is where I got Coda. None of us would ever lock our front door because we were idiots. And Real. I do remember once we were, me and Cooper were standing in the kitchen and this random guy just walked oh, downstairs. He was upstairs. He just walked down the stairs, looked at us, and walked out the door. And nobody had, nobody questioned it. Yeah. I think this was the least yeah, this, exciting house. It was. It was in, it, this house like was Nothing happened exciting. here where I was like, oh, this is crazy. Yeah, this was the last house that the sorority lived in. And then we went our separate ways. And I went to my own apartment. First time living alone. Weird. Weird. Was the view unreasonable. was beautiful. I mean, guys, come on. I lived in the most beautiful houses. Crazy. In California when I first moved out here. I mean, I trust me, it, it doesn't go unnoticed. I don't take any of it for granted. This is um, me and Cooper's apartment. That's fucking crazy. We're not gonna linger because I'm gonna freak out whoever lives in that apartment. Yeah, they're gonna be like, right. Yeah, they're gonna be like, why is this bitch staring in my window? Whoa. Maybe Coda lived here. We lived in the house in Beverly Hills together. Then we lived in a house in, these were all content houses. We lived in a house in Hollywood Hills together. Then we lived in a house in Sherman Oaks, Sherman Oaks together with a couple other people. And then this was our first like place. independent as a couple place that we got on our own. We lived here together for like a year. Makes me sad. Yeah, I think this, there's some sadness in within. I've honestly been, I avoid driving down the street. I avoid this place as much as I can since Cooper passed away, so this is weird. I'm happy that we're doing this though because I honestly haven't been back here since he died. They're doing so much so much um yeah, there was renovations yeah, in there. Was it looks different, like the, the door is painted different color, the walls are white. We are going to the place where we spent way too much time, ordered way too much food, and drank way too much coffee. Cafe. <laughs> <laughs> you 
good. This thing's bigger than my face. When I first started coming here, I would like vlog on my little G7X and I'd be so scared of what everyone thought of me. And now I have this big ass camera and I vlog my little heart out and I don't give a fuck. Because if there's anywhere in the world where people are gonna look at a vlog camera and be like, yeah, it's Earth Cafe in Los Angeles, California. Like that's what I'm saying. We have been We've through been sat eras. In, in this cafe and like debriefed. Debrief. And had bad days. And good days. They have good food here. They do. And their mac and cheese. Look, there it is. They got good stuff. I miss it. Now we're gonna go to my first ever apartment that I lived in by myself. Big girl stuff. We spent a lot, a lot of, time of time on there. that couch. There was little to no light in the in the apartment. Um, it was very dark. I went through a lot. Yeah, I think, and I think my experience is a little different. It's a little different. Mentally, I was probably Hooked. at the lowest I've ever been in this apartment. So saying goodbye to it, honestly, is going to be a little bit of a relief for me. You're like, bye. And then from here, I went to the house I'm in now. Which I never showed you guys. I never gave you guys a tour of the house I'm in. But that's just because, like, I haven't felt like any Settled. of the places I've lived in has have been my home. I say, when you're lost and I'm scared and you're turning away. <laughs> I guess no one moved in there. I wonder no, why. Because it's haunted. <laughs> it's literally spooky. Okay, we're trying to get in. My name's still here. So we're gonna see if it goes to her phone. I'm scared. I'm scared too. They booted you. They booted you can me. boot it. Oh, aloe. We did aloe right did here. Aloe? We were we put this building to work. Cat called. Did I literally just get cat yes. called right now? This place is haunted. Haunted. Um, yeah, that's it. Goodbye. Every night we'd hear music bumping. Every single night I lived across. I would from literally a go to bed at her place and I would hear thump, thump, boom, boom, boom. No, it was always Rihanna. It was always, always Rihanna. Rihanna. We found love oh, in love. Yeah. Every fucking night. Every night. Until like 3 a.m. Love Rihanna. Love Rihanna. Just not. But not at 7 a.m. No. That's. The stops. That's the stops. And now we're gonna go home and get ready for dinner. I'm having a goodbye dinner. Good work. We stopped at all the key spots. Yeah, stopping in all the places where we lived. We literally though. Yeah. We did skip one, but it was far. I lived there for like two seconds. It's fine. That's where we watched the 100. That was we finished that shit in like two months, and that's not healthy. Mm -mm. We would literally I wake think up. I it was less than two months. We would wake up, work out, come home, try to like film one thing, work on one thing, Eat and sweet then green. literally shower and then put it on from like literally 4 p.m. to like midnight and then do it for like, we did that for like three weeks straight. You went home for Thanksgiving, I went home for Thanksgiving, and we would text each other and be like, okay, I watched 30 minutes of this episode. You're only allowed to watch 30 minutes. And then we'd get mad at each other if someone like finished an episode. You. Yeah, I mean. He would finish an episode. And, and I would text him and be you. like, oh my god, like, and you're like, what? You're like, bitch, you're always supposed to watch 30 <laughs> fucking minutes. It was like real. It was a big deal for us.